to call this meeting of the Common Council to order. Roll call, please. Mr. Cross. Here. Mr. Tully. Here. Ms. Meyer. Here. Mr. Peachy. Here. Mr. Horn. Here. Mr. Lars. Here. Mr. Brandel. Here. And Mr. Miller. Here. Thank you. <coughs> move on to proposed ordinance number 3-20 and ordinance to amend section 90-16 of the tourism of the city code for the tourism com committee. Alderman Lars, please. Thank you, Honorable Mayor, fellow council members, citizens of Jefferson. City of Jefferson ordinance number 3-20, an ordinance to amend section state statute 90-16 of the tourism committee. State statute 90-16 tourism committee. A, a tourism committee is hereby created and shall consist of five members who shall be appointed by the mayor with approval of the common council. One, the committee will consist of the following personnel. A, a representative from a local lodging industry. B, a city of Jefferson common council member. C, a representative from the city chamber of commerce board of directors or the chamber tourism committee. D, an executive director of the city chamber of commerce. E, a local business person who works in, in the in the area of tourism, and F, a citizen representative being a citizen representative being a resident of the city of Jefferson. Two, each terms each member's terms uh, will be for three uh, three year period, and members may serve multiple terms. I so move. Um, this is a first reading, but uh, we will I would order. I would uh, move to waive the second reading of proposed ordinance 3-20 and vote upon the ordinance tonight. It's been moved. Second. 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 We need we need a second for uh, the Lars motion. Oh, for the Lars motion. Okay. Okay. Well, the, okay. It was there a wasn't a motion. Was, there wasn't a motion. There was a first reading. Alderman Brandle made the to, to waive the uh, second reading. Right. And right. we should vote on the motion for a second reading first. Yeah. I, okay. I would second. Bend the rules. Okay. That's what we're doing. So that was Brandel and Horn. Thank you. Any question about that? So the uh, question is uh, to waive the second reading. All in favor, please signify by saying aye as your name is called. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Ms. Byer. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Mr. Horn. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. Mr. Brandon. Aye. And Mr. Miller. Aye. It's unanimous. No. Um, all any other questions or comments? Yeah. Here. Mr. Mayor, just so I understand, so is these will be staggered terms, so not everybody is up for re-election at the same time, or I don't know. Is, is this? So, are we just adjusting this, or is this something that exists? We're, we're just we're just adding, the way I understand it. We're, we're adding another representative, okay. the citizen representative. So I was just curious to make sure that not everybody expired the same year. You might have a couple, but not everybody. Mm -hmm. Typically, I, well, the, the executive director is obviously uh, right. continually, uh, but they've had different representatives from the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, Vinny has served uh, during for the three-year terms as a council representative. This is to add just one more okay. one more person that's uh, not necessarily a business person, but a resident of the city of Jefferson. Do we need a roll call vote on this? I would okay. make a motion to uh, move proposed ordinance number three twenty. Okay, I think there's already a motion. There is not. That was a first reading. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. I would make a motion to move. Okay. That's number 3 20. It's moved. Second. Seconded by Alderman Lars. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye as your name is called. No, if you're opposed. Mr. Horn. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. Mr. Brandon. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Ms. Fire. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. And Mr. Cross. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. And we will. Uh, uh, welcome uh, the citizen representative that's being uh, uh, offered is uh, Amy Listel. She's a resident of the city of Jefferson. She also serves as the director of the Jefferson County Fair Park, and I would look for your approval of that as well. Do you need that approval this evening? I don't know. Does that have to be? It's not on the agenda. Does that have to be done as a motion or as? Uh, Consensus. Okay. 
since you could appoint her, we could ratify it next time. Okay. Well, that's a name that I would submit for appointment for that. And her name was? Amy Listel, L-I-S-T-L-E. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next, resolution number 76, tonight's consent agenda. Alderman Tully, please. Thank you, Mayor. City of Jefferson, resolution number 76, be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the consent agenda for February 18, 2020 is hereby adopted. Vouchers payable for December 2019 in the amount of $117,438.55 in January 2020 in the amounts of $574,388.15. January manuals in the amount of $4,497.37. Payroll summary for February 14, 2020 in the amount of $161,339.75. Council minutes from February 4th, 2020 of the Common Council. And licenses as approved by the Regulatory Committee. We had one operator's license, Gretchen Wagner for Rock Bottom Express. And special class B licenses, there were none. I would so move. It's been moved, is there a second? Second. A second by Mrs. Beyer. Any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Your name is called, no fear opposed. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Ms. Byer. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Brandel. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. And Mr. Horn. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number 77, a resolution authorizing the award of a contract for construction <clears throat> of a parks maintenance building. Alderman Peachy, please. Thank you, Honorable Mayor Upperman, fellow council members and citizens of Jefferson. <clears throat> Excuse me. City of Jefferson, resolution number 77. Whereas the City of Jefferson received four bids from contractors interested in completing the Parks Maintenance Building, and whereas after one bid was withdrawn by the contractor, the value of the lowest qualified bidder is included in the following table. Company is Boss Design Builders with a base bid of $234,456, and alternate A1, which would be a credit for reduction in overall length in eight foot increments, so that would be minus $5,190 per eight foot section. And whereas the scope of the project includes construction of a new 60 foot by 176 foot, which would be 10,560 square feet storage building at the city's municipal service services facility at 1122 South Tensfeld Avenue with the exclusion of electrical and grading, which will be completed under a separate contract. And whereas a budget of $400,000 has been allocated for this project in the 2020 capital budget, and whereas City Engineer Pino and Parks Director Keller reviewed the project bid results and recommend award of the base bid in alternate A1 reduction in length by 24 feet to boss design builders as the lowest qualified builder in the amount of $218,886. <clears throat> Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that a hearing approves the Boss Design Builders bid for the Parks Maintenance Building in the amount of $218,886 and further directs and authorizes the City Administrator to execute any contract or document associated with the above action on behalf of the City of Jefferson upon the review and consent of the City Attorney. I would so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Crows. Any discussion? And Mayor, this was discussed at finance and this was unanimous. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? I, I do have a question. If we were, do we know why we, re I apologize for not being at the earlier uh, committee meetings, but the reduction in length by 24 feet? The reduction in length was for site constraints. Uh, this is going to be constructed over at the uh, Public Works Garage, when we first um, laid this out, uh, we looked at maximizing the size, um, which for this type of structure, max size would be 12,000 square foot. Um, once we laid out a full site plan and addressed um, issues such as floodplain, uh, we need to reduce the size of the building by 24 feet um, to be able to accommodate that. So the reduction was... Um, mainly to um, accommodate the site. This building would replace the parks um, 
uh, cold storage that they currently have, um, which is about 6,500 square feet. Uh, but that's the reason the site was, uh, the building was reduced in size. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? I have one. Um, in the previous conversations, we had talked about uh, providing some storage space for the Gamilakite group, uh, given that they currently use some storage space in the city parking lot behind Felton's, and that's been kind of on a, a traditional basis, but that there are some concerns about both the condition of the buildings, at least one of the two buildings that they're using there, and how their location fits in with our other plans for that area. Uh, so is this this size provide enough space that we would have room for uh, Gamitla kite storage there or not really? It's just I would say at this point um, it's difficult to answer that question. Um, the reason I say that um, is we are replacing about 6,500 square foot so we do have excess there. Mm -hmm. um, the um, I think that it's certainly something that we're open to discussion on. Um, you know, once the site, once the building is erected and there is determination of how much equipment is going to go in there, um, as well as um, restructuring the layout um, and kind of project areas in the public works garage, we kind of evaluate how much space is available. Mm -hmm. I think one of the questions that will have to be addressed if, if the council does want us to look in that direction is going to be um, access to a fenced-in area uh, by members of Gamitla Kite, um, you know, how, yeah, that, how that would be handled. We'd have to secure it between their space and... and but even and access secure. into the site to make sure it would only be done during um, oh. working hours, things like that. Okay. So I think it's something that... Uh, and that's one of the reasons we tried to maximize the size of the building to be able to um, at least entertain that uh, discussion should we uh, be asked to accommodate that space. Are we, are we losing the space where they are located now? That space is not being... I would say we're not losing it, but we got to start paying rent. Okay. Now, now where Gamilakite is. No. Gamilakite's in the sheds oh, uh, north of that. They're, they're in the sheds behind the right. so. When we do alley improvements, it would be assumed that those sheds would probably disappear. I think that's kind of what, what was talked about. Yeah, but not into our new facility. I don't know. I don't know. To be determined again. Anything else? If not... There's a motion and a second. All in favor of resolution number 77, approving the contract for the construction of the new parks building. Please signify by saying aye as Tim calls your name. No, if you're opposed. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Mr. Brando. Aye. Ms. Beyer. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Mr. Horn. Aye. And Mr. Krause. <coughs> aye. Sneaky. It's unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number 78, a resolution authorizing the award of a contract for the Rock River Landing Park. Alderman Krauss, please. Thank you, Honorable Mayor, fellow council members, citizens of Jefferson. City of Jefferson resolution number 78, uh, authorizing award of contract for the Rock River Landing Park. Whereas the city of Jefferson received one bid from contractors interested in completing Rock River Landing Park, and whereas the value of the lowest bidder is included in the following table company would be Yankee Contractors with a base bid of $494,313. We have an alternate A for addition of a restroom and pavilion, $346,500. Alternate C, shoreline restoration at $60,000. Alternate D, pavement marking at $3,800. Alternate E, an easy dock to replace base bid items 24 to 26 at $107,000. And alternate F, fertilizer and mulch at $73,672. Whereas the overall scope of the project includes construction of the Rock River Landing Park, including the following amenities, paved parking lot, paved boat ramp and parking lot, pier system and kayak launch, trail system and lighting. And whereas construction expenses for this contract will, reimburse, will be reimbursed to the city as part of the match by Jefferson County to satisfy the WDNR stewardship and recreational boating grants awarded to the city of Jefferson. 
and whereas R.A. Smith and the city engineer reviewed the project bid results and recommended award of the base bid and alternates D, E, and F while rejecting alternates A and C to Yankee contractors as the low-qualified bidder in the amount of $567,785. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that are here and approves the Yankee contractor's bid for the Rock River Landing Park in the amount of $567,785 and further directs and authorizes the city administrator to execute any contract or document associated with the above action on behalf of the city of Jefferson upon the review and consent of the city attorney. I would so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Brandel. <coughs> On discussion? Do we do we have what the what we had anticipated for the base bid and all A, B, C, D, E, and F? Do we know what that number was offhand? So um, the the overall the, the alternates and the base bid actually came in uh, um, very close to in line with the engineer's estimates. I don't have an exact total on that. Right. Um, typically, we have a concern when you only get one bid, um, whether or not it's market value or not. Um, however, um, the um, I, again, I don't have the exact dollar amount of what we had for the um, contract, but we did feel that uh, based on the numbers that came in, um, the numbers were very comparable uh, within a couple percent of what our engineering estimate was. Um, certainly, we had hoped that we'd have some lower numbers just based on competition, but um, that wasn't the case. Um, the one thing I will um, mention is that um, because we're rejecting alternates uh, A and C, the project, although that we had pre presented a um, stewardship grant that included a bathroom and shelter. Um, the design that was presented and the design was significantly over budget um, when it bid. So right now we're anticipating that uh, shelter and uh, uh, bathroom will be constructed um, as a second phase in 2021 um, uh, for the park. Um, also want to mention that after um, uh, qualifying the bids with Yankee, we did identify some additional savings uh, through some value engineering to uh, that we anticipate we're, um, that we'll probably have a change order in the amount of about $35,000 to further reduce the cost of the project. Can they, will they pump or pipe in and everything for the restroom and pavilion at this time so that we save money in the future and having to tear up any parking lot or land or is that not those laterals are already in place okay those were uh, constructed as part of the Elizabeth Street extension completed by forest construction okay I don't want to yep redo absolutely okay good thank you thank you any other questions or comments hearing none all in favor of resolution number 78 Authorizing the contract for Rock River Landing Park, please signify by saying aye as Tim calls your name. No, if you're opposed. Alderman Cross. Aye. Alderman Miller. Aye. Alderman Horn. Aye. Alderman Tully. Aye. Alderman Lars. Aye. Alderman Brandel. Aye. Alderman Peachy. Aye. Alderperson Beyer. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. Resolution number 79, a resolution authorizing the award of a bid for the Public Works Dump and Plow Truck. Alderman Brandel, please. Honorable Mayor Opperman, fellow council members, citizens of Jefferson, City of Jefferson, resolution number 79. Be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the City of Jefferson obtained three bids from truck suppliers for a current model 39,000 pound gross vehicle weight dump plow truck, contract A, to assist the City of Jefferson Public Works Department with operations and maintenance, including street construction, street maintenance, and snow plowing. Whereas the City of Jefferson allocated $155,000 from the Capital Projects Equipment Fund for the Public Works dump plow truck and equipment purchase, and whereas the lowest qualified bidder was Truck Country of Wisconsin Incorporated in the amount of $77,950 for a 2020 Freightliner M2106 with a five-year, 100,000-mile engine warranty, 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that the city of Jefferson authorizes the city administrator to enter into an agreement with Truck Country of Wisconsin Incorporated for contract A, chassis in the amount of $77,950 for a 2020 Freightliner M2106 with a five-year 100,000-mile engine warranty. I so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Horn. Uh, explanation, please. Uh, this was approved in part in, uh, as part of the capital uh, uh, capital plan. Uh, this is again uh, just uh, as part of our two-year replacement plans on the plow and dump trucks. Um, we've been, our last two have been freight liners. We've been happy with uh, with those, and uh, in this case, we had the uh, um, low number at seventy-seven nine fifty. Um, in this case, we would uh, place the order for the truck. Um, and uh, we expect after the equipment, which is part of the next resolution, to take uh, <coughs> take delivery of it uh, late October into November for uh, plowing season uh, um, later this year. Good. Any questions of Bill? Yeah. Um, why do Why did it come in almost half the the budget? It is so the uh, the budget is one hundred fifty five thousand, and as for the truck and equipment. So the next resolution will be the other half of that. Okay. Um, just for your information, Jim, the total contract for the, both the truck and the equipment came in at $154,350. Thank you. Bill, did you look at all at a model M2107? Uh, I'd have to check with Jeff on that one. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor of approval, please signify by saying aye as Tim calls your name. No, if you're opposed. Mr. Peachy. Aye. aye. Ms. Byer. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Brandel. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. And Mr. Horn. Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. <coughs> resolution number 80, a resolution authorizing the award of a bid for the public works dump and plow equipment. In other words, the other half of the truck. Alderman Horn, please. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Mayor, Council Members, and Citizens of Jefferson, Resol City of Jefferson, Resolution Number 80. Be it resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the City of Jeff Jefferson obtained three bids from the truck equipment suppliers for the equipment needed to be installed on the 2020 dump plow truck contract B to assist the City of Jefferson Public Works Department with the operations and maintenance, including street construction, street maintenance, and snow plowing. Whereas the City of Jefferson allocated $155,000 from the Capital Projects Equipments Fund for the Public Works dump plow truck and equipment purchase, and whereas the lowest qualified bidder was Madison Truck Equipment in the amount of $76,400, including dump dump body, hitch, snowplow, wing, and tailgate spreader. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the City of Jefferson authorize the City Administrator to enter into an agreement with Madison Truck Equipment for Contract B, truck equipment in the amount of $76,400 for the truck equipment. I so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Lars. In discussion? Again, this is the second half of the uh, the bid. Um, the combination of the truck and the equipment came in at $154,350. The uh, budgeted amount was $155,000. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor of approval, please signify by saying aye. As your name is called, no fear opposed. Mr. Horn. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Brandel. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. Mr. Krause. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Ms. Byer. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn to closed session pursuant to section 19.85 parent C of the Wisconsin State Statutes to consider employment of a part-time patrol officer. So moved. Mr. Brandel. Second. Second by Mr. Horn. All in favor signify by saying aye as Tim calls your name. Mr. Horn. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Brandel. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. Mr. Tully. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Ms. Byer. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. It's unanimous. Thank you. We will reconvene and take action on resolution number 81.
We are reconvening to open session. And now we'll consider resolution number 81, a resolution authorizing the hire of a part-time patrol officer. Alderman Miller, please. Thank you, Honorable Mayor, fellow council members and citizens. City of Jefferson resolution number 81. Whereas police, police chief Pelleggi has to fill a vacant position in the police department for a part-time patrol officer. And whereas the open part-time patrol officer position was recently vacated by a promotion. And whereas the open position was publicly advertised and interviews were conducted with five potential candidates of seven applicants. And whereas police chief Pelleggi is recommending that Kevin Harper be hired by the city of Jefferson to fill the vacant position and whereas the personnel committee having reviewed the qualifications of Kevin Harper and pursuant to Chief Pelleggi recommending the hire of Kevin Harper as a part-time patrol officer for the city of Jefferson Police Department to the Common Council, and whereas the chief of police has part-time funds allocated in his 2020 approved operating budget, and that this part-time patrol officer is to replace a current vacancy in the part-time patrol officer staff. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Common Council of the City of Jefferson, Wisconsin, that the Chief of Police is authorized to hire Kevin Harper as a part-time patrol officer, effective Wednesday, February 19, 2020, as a part-time patrol officer for the City of Jefferson Police Department. The initial rate of pay shall be $20 per hour, pursuant to the 2020 City of Jefferson non-represented pay resolution. I so move. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Brando. Any discussion? This was unanimous at personnel. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Chief, we appreciate you bringing such a solid candidate for our force. Thank you, there are no other questions. All in favor of the uh, hire of uh, Kevin Harper as a part-time patrol officer, please signify by saying aye as your name is called. No, if you're opposed. Ms. Byer. Mr. Tully. Aye. Mr. Krause. Aye. Mr. Peachy. Aye. Mr. Miller. Aye. Mr. Brandel. Aye. Mr. Lars. Aye. And Mr. Horn. Aye. It's unanimous. We'll welcome Kevin to the to the force. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Tully. Totally. <laughs> moved and seconded. Peachy and Peachy. Tully. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned.